Hi everyone, I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of You Define Wellness, and welcome to another edition of an Apple a Day webinar. These are webinars that we bring to you, the wellness providers out there, to help you with tips for your business and strategies um, to help you be more successful. I am really excited today to uh, be bringing to you two ladies that um, we've been talking now for a while. And um, before I actually introduce them and let the, them speak up, I wanna explain why they're here. And that is because we listen to you. So many of the wellness practitioners out there that I met with have said to me, Denise, would you please find me someone to help me with my website or social media, media management or branding? And um, I listened and we went out and we talked to a lot of different people and two people kept coming to the top and that is Monica Turner and Tiffany Anderson with Rapport Creative. So um, ladies, welcome. I'm delighted to have you here with me today. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> so, I'm Monica. This is Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good for you guys to clarify that because I just know I'm going to get, reverse it time and time again. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Rapport Creatives. And as I told you two on a phone call with you, uh, the reason why I selected you is that you really understood the wellness, independent wellness professional, the independent small business owner. And uh, so with that knowledge, um, I just knew that you could deliver to our group of people what they're looking for. But I know about you. Why don't you take a moment and uh, tell us about Rapport Creatives and what you offer out there? Okay. You want to go first, Monica? You want to <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so Rapport Creatives came about because Tiffany and I are small business owners. Um, we were doing our own thing um that sort of overlapped um we're both graphic designers and web developers and i focus more on the branding and the print design and tiffany is awesome at that as well but she is really also really good at web development um and so we found ourselves kind of asking each other for help <laughs> uh quite often and so we we're like well let's just start you know this partnership and go from there and see what it brings. Um, and so just like you guys, we're a small business, it's just us. We pull in other freelancers that have other strengths when we need them. Um, and we like working with other small businesses and other small business owners, so here we are. <laughs> That's exciting, so I have a million questions for you before I do. I know the people on, our, on the call also do. So just a little instruction for those who are on the call. First of all, thank you guys for joining us as well. We really appreciate that. And uh, when at any time that you have a question, feel free to either enter it in the chat box and I will monitor that or feel free to unmute yourself and ask the question. So Tiffany and Monica, question for you, small independent business professional. Um, you're typically dealing with uh, tight budgets because they're, they're passionate about what they're doing and they're wanting to go out there. So what are the key areas that they should be paying attention to in terms of where they should be directing their dollars? <laughs> we both look at each other. You can tell we haven't done this on, on uh, <laughs> in front of people before. Um, I, if I were to advocate for anything, I would probably advocate the most for branding on your website. Um, I think those two areas are critical um, in making you look like a professional and also conveying the information about your business, particularly the website. Um, that you just can't even get away with having a business really anymore without a website, especially one that's professional. And we've been finding that the more professional website is, the more seriously people take you. So it's just a matter of just putting your money in those two little areas. I think uh, the, oh, hi. Sorry, my cat has decided to check. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hello. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I threw you off, I know. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you guys are sitting here, it's great. Um, so that, that's my kind of thumbnail answer. What, how about you? What, yeah, I, no, I completely agree. Branding is super important. Um, you wanna make sure you're communicating to your target audience appropriately. Uh -huh. 
and that just goes right into your credibility. Um, having your website, that's the first thing everyone's going to do is go right to your website. They're going to have a business card. They're going to see you on Facebook. They're going to um, hear about you word of mouth. And the very first thing they're going to do is go to your website. It might be on their computer. It might be on their phone. Um, and so to Tiffany's point, having a real like good, legit website that will work on a phone is also really important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are a lot of things in there that are bringing up questions, but let's start with the big one, and that's branding. Um, you know, I think we've all heard what branding is, and we all have our ideas of what we think it um, should be, but can you explain it to someone who's, you know, just an independent practitioner, and they're just out there, and they're trying to get some clients coming in and not trying to, when I think branding, I think, you know, major brand, like Coca-Cola or McDonald's. I mean, you, when you see the golden arches, that's branding, right? And that's, you know what that is. Right. But what is it really for an, a small person, a small office? Where I like to start usually is just asking a bunch of questions. Who are you talking to? Who are you targeting? Uh, who are your customers and then defining personas from there. So do you have, do you speak to women? Do you speak to young women? Do you speak to older women? How much money do they make? Where do they live? What are they interested in? Um, and then from there kind of define who they are and figure out what they're attracted to as far as colors and then colors. There's this whole psychological thing behind that and which colors speak to which people appropriately um, what else? <laughs> it's a loaded well, question. <laughs> it, it is a loaded question. I would say it's 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 a combination of things. Honestly, it is. It's not only understanding your market, but it's also uh, giving a visual representation that is as basic yeah. as a symbol or word mark to say who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's you know down to the fonts and the colors mm -hmm. and those sorts of things. You know what she was kind of talking about with the market is figuring out what will appeal to them. So if I put everything in black and it's a, a lot of women that are, you know, probably in the more feminine industry, mm -hmm. you, you, you probably won't put everything in black. You want it to have some, some, you know, flourishes here and there that would appeal to them more. So it's, it kind of comes down to the basics of what you want to say about your company. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the golden arches kind of says it's, you know, it's the golden arches. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but it, you 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 automatically know from then on like okay golden arches is hamburgers and fries and we know this because we're conditioned to and it's so some of it's also conditioning as we go along like okay if you have the same representation people start understanding that that's what you are that's that represents you so we we have a question dagmar Yes, thank you. Um, you know, when you're talking about colors and how you're presenting, I guess, your business, um, how important is it to um, appeal to the client versus appeal to you mm. and who you are? Good question. I'm always going to advocate that you appeal to the client. Mm -hmm. um, the saying, that, unfortunately, a lot of people get kind of locked into this is, this is what I like. But because I personally like black, for example, I may not really like pink, but my market is probably going to re respond better to pink, for example. So if that's who's going to respond, what they're going to respond to, then that is what I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, it's about making your marketing work across the board, not just for me. So. Yeah, um, it's interesting because um, I come from a space of being a spiritual healer, understanding how important you your energy is in your marketing because we attract with our energy energetically. Mm -hmm. So when you put something out there that is not you per se, how does that reflect in what you're attracting? You know what I mean? Because um, isn't it important that it is authentic you, what you're putting out there? Yeah. Um, what I'm saying? Um, I have a challenge with just putting something out there that just simply appeals to the client and not well, appeals to me and not represents who I am. Yeah, I, I think it's more about making something that works for both. Um, but yeah. ultimately, the client is who you're trying to reach. So if you think that the client is very much like you, 
then that's probably, you're probably dead on with your marketing, honestly. Um, but if it's someone, you know, like we were, we're creative professionals. So we use things that are going to appeal more to just about everyone that we think might be an industry that would work with us. Mm -hmm. um, but we have also figured out how to make those things work for us too. Like, yeah, you know, we both like maroon. So we have maroon as one of our major colors. So <laughs> And it also communicates appropriately. I think it's finding a happy medium. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely something that's proper that would communicate to your clientele to drive your business is ultimately the most important thing, right? Um, but you can do that in such a way that it still conveys who you are and who your business is. And, and my goal is always to make sure my clients are 100% happy. Um, so I would want to design a logo for you that makes you hundred percent happy because it's going to get you the business that you need and communicate properly to, to your target market. So is there a way to test, um, so that you can kind of get a feel for what's drawing in? Do you do that with your clients? I've only done testing with, with color you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've only done testing as far as websites, like um, CTA buttons and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's branding. So normally that's, if you're going to do testing, that's usually like when you are working on clients the size that have like the, the golden arches. Yeah. Is testing is, is really, there's focus groups, there's ways, there's way to, ways you go about that, but it's all generally speaking money. Um, so a lot of what we base it on, or rather I, what I base it on, is the research that currently stands. So if we're talking about colors, we kind of know what people feel about colors. So we will use that to our advantage. Like, you know, if it's a wellness practitioner, we're probably not going to use certain colors within that market because it's just not going to work within that market. It hasn't been shown to. If we have, you know, the budget to do all that kind of testing and research uh -huh. by all means we will <laughs> but there's little ways to test it as you were mentioning there monica um buttons mm -hmm. See how many it, you know if you if they push the green button more than they push the black button right yeah. So there are some subtle ways to do that. Okay. So uh, that, okay, I, I got to tell you, I just really actually love that conversation because mm -hmm. that is the type of thing that, you know, people, it, it's not often talked about. So kudos mm -hmm. to you. Let's talk about size of the website and, um, you know, how big should, I've seen some websites that are one page and they try to cram everything into one place. And I've seen some that have, uh, you know, mine has, you know, ultimately a, a couple hundred pages, about 300 pages, only because of our provider directory, each one is a different page. But, you know, what is a good size for a, a startup business or a smaller business um, to be aiming for? I usually advocate between five and 10 pages. Um, if it's a very small business, it's probably going to be more like five and then maybe a blog. Mm -hmm. um, and it's generally just you have, um, it, it, it's, it helps with a number of issues, uh, SEO issues, uh, breaking down your content into bits that actually people can swallow. Uh, mobile, uh, you don't, know, you know, the one page site is a nightmare when you're on mobile and you've got to scroll the whole thing to get to even the contact information. Right. Um, it's it's a matter of breaking that information down in a way that is the most efficient, but also really showcases the services that you offer. So that's that's how I I go I go about it. Okay, so you said a technical term there, and when I, every time technical terms come up, I always have to stop and make you define it. So please define SEO. Search engine optimization. So, okay. Then. So Google, etc., will find you on the internet. Okay, so it's just getting it's it's making your billboard in the universe bigger. Is what you're saying. Okay, awesome. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to shift gears kind of uh, a little bit here. And, uh, you know, we talked about the website. We talked a little bit about the branding as well and that that is something that you can absolutely sit. I mean, you obviously showed your um, qualifications for being able to sit down and, and help someone figure out what their branding is all about. Well, let's talk about some of the other things that you do in your business. Then we can always come back to website and you do, um, what's the, the, what would you say is the third thing that you specialize in working with if website and branding are the first two? 
Probably print pieces. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say print work. Yeah, print work would be our third one. And that includes so much. Um, that can be anything from business cards to letterheads and uh, marketing materials like uh, postcards that you might send out in the mail. Mm -hmm. to, um, I don't know, we've done billboards, we've done vehicle wraps, we've done uh, stage set signage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you name it. It's so, a somebody, lot of area. Okay. So somebody could sit down with you and say, you know, I, I know I need to have a marketing budget and I need to be doing something, but I'm confused. I don't know what I need. Um, or maybe they come to you and say, I want an outside of the box idea. So that's one of the things you'll do is sit down with them. They don't have to come to you and say, I want a, a trifold brochure. They can come to you oh, and say, yeah, I know I need something. Okay. I just don't know what. Yeah. 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 And, and that is the, that is the one thing I have, I've seen a lot of over the years and it's, uh, you know, I, I, I re-steered clients on more than one occasion because as a small business owner, I think we always assume that we have to have the answer. Oh, good. I found this out of Hey Siri. Hey Siri. And you did something that it thought was Hey Siri. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> anyway, it's still doing it. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, technology. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, um, so it would be like me going to an accountant for the time and saying, I know I need this schedule and this schedule and this schedule. I don't know any of those things. That's why I hire an accountant. Mm -hmm. um, so I advocate businesses to come to, you know, creative organizations and say, this is what I am trying to do. This mm -hmm. is the budget I have. And we can help you figure that out. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm of the mindset that I really hate printed brochures and flyers, um, having thrown away literally tens of thousands of them in prior years because it's a great design. You print up a million of them and then something changes on it. So I know in my business, uh, almost everything is done through PDFs that they can download from my website or that my sales reps can send out. Um, and it seems like that seems to be a little bit of a trend. Mm -hmm. But even when we're doing that, we still need professional help. And that's something that you can do is a PDF brochure. Yes. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, that would definitely fall into that category. Mm -hmm. And we would design it so that it can be emailed and printed or printed and handed out, it can work both ways. Mm -hmm. So that's, like that's simple. Now. Like you don't even, they don't even necessarily have to be only a flat thing like they used to. Mm -hmm. um, you can have them have in, you know, buttons within them and forms within them and all kinds of things that people didn't really realize years ago. Now those things have, you know, can be in there. Um, you just have to know how to do it. <laughs> Cool. So let's talk a little bit more about print. And you said different sizes and, and doesn't even have to be flat anymore. I love that. Um, there are people I know that are um, live on this webinar right now that go to events and have booths at events. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you go to those type of expos and things like that, you know, there are so many people go home with a bag and then everything ends up in the garbage, except for the things that are a little bit different, right? So that's an area that you can sit down with them and think, okay, let's make, let's figure out something that'll make you different than everyone else there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Coming up with all the creative swag. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh good. That's something that excites you. Oh yeah. It's like, what can we make with this? Like what's better than a pen and sunglasses right. that you get from everyone? <laughs> You know, and I think that there are some wonderful websites out there to help small business owners like Vista Print and some of these swag companies. Um, but that's something in a catalog or it's something that, you know, you're, you're relying on their templates. And after a while, they all start looking alike anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you're bringing in a level of expertise and creativity that they can't get on their own. And it's and. Uh, okay, you guys haven't seen their pricing, but I'm going to tell you, it's really good. Okay, so <laughs> it's worth a few extra bucks than going and trying to do it on your own. Absolutely. So um, I also want to cover social media management, and I understand that you do offer that as well, correct? 
-hmm. Correct. Yep. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about that. Is it content you, is it curated or created, first of all? Um, I'm usually, I'm, I personally don't do the, the created, I'll curate. So, you okay. know, clients have, blip, you know, little blips of this and that, that they were thinking of using, mm -hmm. you know, that's the kind of thing I like to work with. I'm great at editing. I would not call myself a content creator as far as some of that goes. Not to say I couldn't, it's just not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the wellness professional is the expert in their field. You're not an expert yeah. in their field. So, and for the, and I, here I use technical information somewhat that you may not be familiar with. So let me define it um, for those of you who are watching this video and those who are on the webinar live. The difference between created and curated material. So created is your genius. Um, and curated is that you're showing that you're a genius at sharing someone else's genius unless you customize it. So, and that's what you're talking about, right, Tiffany, is that you're putting in that customization. It's just not sharing, you know, somebody else's blog. Right, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So how often should, do you recommend someone actually are, is putting out uh, social media content? Boy, that's, yeah, yeah I think they recommended, and like I said, I'm not, uh, social media specialist either, but we do have someone on our team um, that is, that is. <laughs> and um, I think they would say at least twice a week, putting something up if you can. Mm -hmm. um, if you're just gonna share uh, other content that's relevant, you can do that as much as you want. I mean, the more you get yourself out there on a feed, the better. And, um, but as far as your created, created, curated, Created, <laughs> created <laughs> content. Um, yeah, like probably once or twice a week, I think. Yeah, I, I, I personally, I, I usually tell my clients that whatever they're going to do, be consistent. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I've had a lot of people come to me and say, I've, I've heard I should be on all the social media. And they want to sign up for Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest <laughs> and everything. And then, then they're like, there's so much to do. Don't do all that. That's what I tell you not to do. Yeah. Um, whatever you're going to do, like with the platform. So if you are a more visual person, use Instagram. There's great. There's a great market there, and it literally comes down to snapping pictures and saying a little bit about them, and it's relevant to your business and sharing that. Like so, stick to something you like and you will use, and do that consistently. Exactly, and you can connect your accounts too. So for me, like, I don't use Twitter. I don't like it. I, I, I'm just not into it. But I love Instagram. I can connect my Instagram to my Facebook and to my um, Twitter account. So whatever I'm posting on Instagram is getting filtered through and being posted on Facebook, which is then being filtered through and posted on Twitter. So if someone's looking for me on Twitter, they can find everything. And I don't even need to think about it, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. <laughs> so that's definitely a... Highly recommended. Yeah. Well, this cool. is good for, um, for content. Like if you are, a, you like to blog, um, you don't actually have to do the whole pot copy paste anymore. There are ways to tie your website directly to your Facebook page so that whenever you post a blog, it's immediately, you know, published to your Facebook. Yeah. So a lot of those time consuming things are no longer an issue. You just, you know, you get them set up and then it's, it's autopilot. It's great. Mm -hmm. We have a question here is what software do you use for the multi-platforms or do you recommend? Uh, I, I, you, as far as I, I don't use one, but um, have you? I've used one in the past, but I can't remember the yeah. name of it. A lot of people recommend Hootsuite. I do not use that's, it. That's the one I've used. Yeah. I'm, I, I have multiple channels myself and um, I post directly to all of them but things i do like you were just mentioning tiffany it'll auto post for me so when i do a blog post it's auto posting on linkedin facebook and twitter when mm -hmm. i send out an a mass email it's automatically posting to those channels as well plus i can schedule the frequency so it's posting more than once so i'm getting a lot of posting done for me where i'm not having to spend any time and effort on it Mm -hmm. additional effort let's put it that way 
Right. Awesome. And a lot of those things are easier to implement on sites that you have much more control over. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're on a WordPress site, it, there's, there's utilities that are super easy to install and set up so that all of those things just autopilot. Um, yeah. And so your focus is only on creating the blog post and mm -hmm. publishing it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to move to my last question for you ladies, and then we're going to open it up for any other questions that are coming and that we want to go back to and kind of expand on. But um, I would really like to know of all the work that you do um, in your business, what type of projects light you up the most? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you I think we can both weigh in on this one. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Um, for me, it's things that I'm super passionate about. Um, and wellness falls into that category. So you're all lucky. <laughs> um, for me, it's not a specific thing. It's not just the branding. It's not just the logo design. It's not just the print design or the website. It's how everything goes together. I love when everything is cohesive. And if I can work on a project from the logo design all the way through to everything else, to your website, to all of your print materials, I just get so giddy. That makes me so excited. Um, just to see everything, how it's working together, how it looks together. Uh, I don't know, it's really satisfying. <laughs> that would have to be my favorite. Yeah, uh, mine's pretty similar. I mean, it's, it's something I connect with. Like, you know, recently I got to work on a, you know, environmental website and, you know, they do all this research to like, improve water usage and energy usage and stuff like that so it was really like this is all things i really believe in so to get to work on stuff i believe on is really it's really wonderful um and i i actually really love working with small businesses as well i've been i like to laugh and say i've been fired several times because i have grown the company to the point that they had to hire their own in-house designer to take over everything that they were doing. So it's it's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> like we got the marketing going to the point that they grew all that way and it's wonderful. And they're like, well, we're ready to have our own in-house team. So we got too big for you. Yeah, they started putting <laughs> it all together and I'm like, awesome, all right, I got you guys going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So um, I'm going to, for those who are on the call live, are there any particular questions that you have you want to go back to or that we didn't cover? Well, I would say probably just the, I know they have a lot of different um, services that they're providing. Um, do we want to just go to their website to get pricing or is it through you? How does that work, Denise? Oh, that is an excellent question. Um, one of the things that I will do is make sure that we, uh, post their contact information. I normally have that uploaded. I can't believe I did not do that. That's just I'm, you need me as your personal assistant, Denise. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm going to be hiring a personal assistant here very quickly. With yeah, you're getting big now. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet. <laughs> we've, we've had a couple um, of weeks that it's just been really phenomenal in our business. So yeah, you're right, Heather. Good. <laughs> I will make sure that uh, when I get this posted, and uh, this will be posted to YouTube, I will also have their contact information on it, and I'll make sure that we post it on the invite that we did on Facebook so that okay. you have their contact information. Um, I will not be posting their pricing information. Just know that they have special pricing for you to find wellness um, providers. Okay. So make sure you also let them know that you're part of our network, and uh, their pricing is really good. And what is your website URL, ladies? It's uh, rapportcreatives.com. And I'm typing it in the chat box. Okay. I was just going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I was going to offer that to you. Yep. Good, 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 good. Um, there's another Rapport Creatives out there that oh. took me to Korea. Oh, my. Something? Yeah, so don't go to that one, guys. <laughs> 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 They're here in Colorado, absolutely. Yeah. And I have a second question for the yes, lady directly. Um, my brother is getting into computer coding and his son as well. He's trying to learn about developing websites. He just recently did a website through Google. I kind of looked at it. I, you know, looked pretty standard. I was just curious because he says, well, being that he did it through Google, they took care of all the hosting and everything. I'm just curious from your, your standpoint in the industry, what are the advantages and disadvantages of doing it through Google? 
So any of the pre-built kind of products that are out there, I, I it's sort of a, there are goods, there are pros and cons. Uh, okay. The pros are, as you said, the hosting is all there. Um, the big, there's a few cons that I really, really strongly dislike. Um, you cannot take it anywhere. So oh. if you decide I'm going to transfer hosts, they're typically based on their platform, their proprietary software, et cetera. So okay. you are locked into that. So if you want to build it on a WordPress elsewhere, you have to like start over from scratch. Um, that's, a, that's a big one. Uh, and you're also locked into whatever templates, quite honestly. There, I mean, there's certain things you can do with all of them to an extent. Um, and I, I never advocate that you uh -huh. spend a lot of money on a platform that you can't take with you. So why would you put a lot of money into a custom template if you right. can't take it to a different host? Um, so I'm big on, on saying, you know, just get your own hosting. Uh, I use WordPress. That's the one I advocate for because there's, it's, there's just so many things available that are already pre-built and put together. And it's so easy to style and set up, um, you know, really quickly for clients. So those are the things that I, I it's just, it's, it's a little more money up front, but you own it and it's yours. Got it. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of a different sort of a question. Um, do you guys uh, have any recommendation in regards to a platform for video instruction and training where people, certain people can sign up to and, you know, where it's basically controlled as to who can get in there and watch it? Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with other online platforms. Um, there are sites, like I have a client right now, it's an international beauty site and they have members for their site and you can log in and it's the very same thing. There's courses that are set up, there are videos that they do. Um, all of that is through WordPress. So there's a few different plugins that are installed so that you can oh, really? make that happen. Yeah. So you can actually do that through WordPress. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you can actually control who signs up and watches it. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, so Dag Dagmar, the You Define Wellness website is all on WordPress. And our entire provider directory is a plugin. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, WordPress is not the the very simple blogging platform that it used to be. <laughs> no. It is. It has expanded greatly over the years, and it's yeah, it's. Uh, Can I ask what the name of that plugin is? Business for, directory. You mean for the that uh, the platform for the uh, videos and stuff? Oh, oh no, the videos and oh, do you have videos on the site, Denise? I didn't know if you had member only access for those. Um, I do not put videos on the site. Okay, okay. So this one is actually the the videos are through uh, Vimeo um, mm -hmm. because that's oh, what I would say is never put all of your videos on your own website. Um, it'll just kill your traffic. You, mm -hmm. just, you spend a lot of bandwidth. So a lot of those get through Vimeo, but there are ways to control access so that they can only see them if you are on your website, for example. Um, right, so okay. There. Um, there's the member plugin. Is that what you were asking about, the member plugin? Um, well, basically a member, but to videos, you know? Um, so, yeah. yeah, so you can watch certain videos only if you're a member or whatever. Yeah, and that's exactly the way this site that I'm, I was describing to you it, it works. Is you you have to get act, you have to be granted access. Mm -hmm. uh, once you're granted access, then you're allowed to uh, go through the different courses that are set up, and the courses each have their own videos involved. Um, that's just a matter of embedding them in the pages. But there's Q and A at the bottom of the pages that allow you to like, mm -hmm. you know, the next phase. And this is all through Vimeo. The videos are just served through Vimeo. The rest of it is all on WordPress. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So the membership part of it is through WordPress or Vimeo? Yeah, no, it's all through WordPress. All of the membership, oh. all the access, all the monitoring of the educational courses, that is all through WordPress. I see. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how do you, uh, do you, I mean, you can do that instead of Vimeo, you can do also uh, YouTube, right? I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, you're not locked into Vimeo. I was just what? using it as an example. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? I mean, is it better to go Vimeo versus YouTube or what's your? Um, I've found, I, I personally like the interface on the back end for Vimeo better. Um, it's just the usability for when you're uploading. I think it's easier. 
Um, and the control factor, I think, is also easier. That's my own opinion. Um, YouTube is still a great platform. It's not a problem to do it through that either. Uh, okay. It's just a matter of usability. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you so much. One other question I do have, actually, is what is your guys' experience with wellness professional or wellness businesses in terms of doing the design? We both, yeah, I was going to say, we both had a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, we both have had a lot. I'm going to okay. share something while you guys are talking. I'm going to share your website. Okay. okay. Yeah, that might, that might help. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good list of various clients we've had. Um, okay. From, you know, psychologists to, um, you know, we've got foundations in there that work with communities. Yoga um, studios. Yoga, yeah, yoga <laughs> studios. And so that we've, we've done quite a bit with, as you can see, a lot of different industries, honestly. But these are sort of the few that we've spent the most time on. Yeah, so I felt some extra love for. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay, interesting. All right, cool. I'm also wanting to show, share your contact us page. That will solve all the problem. How do you guys get in touch with them? <laughs> so you guys are out of state. No, no, here. no. The number is just yeah. That's just my my I've had that number for years. So it's just I gotcha. a family number. <laughs> Where does it Denver on here? Okay, no. Austin. Yeah, no. The the number I got in Austin, and yeah, we just okay. Kept, yeah. I have a Connecticut number too, so we're kind of all over the place, but we are here in Denver. <laughs> I got you. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Any other questions for uh, Monica or Tiffany, folks? We've, we've covered a lot of things. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Is there anything that you wanted to make sure that you got in on this webinar that we have not covered? Um... Just that we'd love to work with all of you. <laughs> I think we Just covered don't everything. Be afraid. I would say yeah. don't be afraid. Like, That's a good one. you know, at the very least, if you're not sure, just ask the question. Um, you know, and you, if it's not a fit, it's not a fit. But, um, you know, don't discount it because you're, you're concerned about the cost or something else. There's, there's ways to work around a lot of different things. Um, but we wouldn't know how to help you solve it if we don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and we might have a different recommendation uh, that might fit your budget a little bit better that maybe you haven't thought of yet. So yeah. always feel comfortable reaching out, emailing, calling. Yeah. Whatever. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for saying that last part because I think um, one of the things that I've sensed is that people think it's way too expensive because they're trying to do everything at one time. Mm -hmm. And with you guys, you can help create a plan for them to get them where they want to be. But just as healers can't necessarily wave a magic wand and make everything happen immediately, it can take time to get you there. Right. Exactly. Right. And we'll provide different phases. So we'll say, okay, that's your overall wonderful plan. Mm -hmm. and it's beautiful but here's what we can do for phase one to fit your budget mm -hmm. and then once we do that and accomplish it and it gets you where you want to be then we'll move on to a phase two and we can build that together up front mm -hmm. so that you're comfortable with it awesome great last questions last opportunity folks mm -hmm. okay going once going twice i want to say thank you to everyone who oh, is yes. um, what if i already have a website what if Oh, was that already, was it an old one? Or that just oh, yes, yeah, sorry. We did have a question posted. Yeah, I apologize, yeah, yeah. Sherry. What if we already have a website? How, how would you work with someone? That was an excellent question, Sherry. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it just really honestly depends on what the needs are for the website. So if it's a matter of like redesigning it, it just kind of depends on what platform it's on. Um, mm -hmm. If it's revamping the content, it's that content is relatively independent of whatever platform you're on. But um yeah it's it's not an it's not as if everyone has a website already probably <laughs> <laughs> correct answer yeah so it's there's there's always a time to give it another round of love i mean i've worked with a lot of clients it's every three or four years you have to give it a full revamp and give it a new you know technology changes content changes mm -hmm. the direction of your business changes um, all those things exactly. so it's just all stuff you have to consider yeah yeah so yeah we've worked with them my, my questions would be working with what I have because I have the website. Okay. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram. And okay. Else. Anyway, and I, I used to be able to connect them all, and then that um, software company closed down. 
So I still haven't made up my mind on what to do to replace okay. it. Because I have a blog on my website, it is WordPress. Okay. So at least go to those three other platforms. And it's escaping my memory at the moment. But anyway, that's something you could do, uh, help me with, that even though I've already got the startup or. Right. So you're saying it's on WordPress already? Yeah. It's a WordPress based site? Okay, well then, yeah, that's just a matter of. If we need to move the, the hosting, that's easy. And if it's a matter of like updating themes or giving anything, the rest of it, you know, kind of a new life, um, that's something we can totally do. I like my hosting that I already have. Because oh, you do? Okay. The person I connect with always answers my emails and will even talk to me on the phone. She's okay. So we can't, we can't mess with that now. <laughs> and the only paperwork, I, I agree with the brochures and stuff and I, finally got smart and my business card is now on my iPhone. Okay. Yes, my iPhone, because I always forget to put more back in my purse or whatever. So if it's on the iPhone, I always have it and I just text it to them, you know? That's true, yeah. So I like that you um, don't you feel you don't need to do all of the print stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. People toss it after a while, but you put it on their iPhone. They could delete it. But they're less likely to delete it than if they had a one in their hand. A physical card. Yeah, That's and they lose them even, let alone like throw them out. You know, so. Right. Right. Oh. Sherry, I was at an event about two weeks ago where um, I asked one of the speakers for his business card and he pulls out his iPhone and he pulls up the what is that little you know, box that has the black and white in it. You know, you take a picture of it. I don't know um, what it's called. QR code. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, QR code, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it didn't look like a barcode. It looked like a box. To me, mm -hmm. a barcode is, anyways. Uh, yeah, that's a QR code. Yeah. A QR code, that's it. And so he, he holds his phone out and he says, take a picture of this. And that was, okay, I feel like I'm really old because that was new to me. I mean, I kind of heard of it before but i never had anybody actually do it and said take a photo of this and it was like what and he goes just take a photo of it so i took a picture of it and next thing you know he's added in my contacts and um i have to tell you that i sat there and went wow that's really cool and part of me was also like i didn't get his business card <laughs> <laughs> yeah see i always do the business card first contact info is easy once you made the contact yeah um, um, that's interesting. I, I didn't know about QR codes, so I'm like something else. Yeah. It, it's a simple thing to do, but then when you're people like me who, um, uh, I, my client record management system that I have, my CRM system, does not read from my contacts. And so as it is, I still have to manually enter it all in. So, yeah. oh well. They can help you fix that, right, ladies? <laughs> oh, you know, I, I, technology can do a mi million different things. I bet it could be fixed, but uh, yeah. it's not yeah. right now. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to wrap this up um, to every, as I was saying before, I'm going to start again uh, it, to everyone who is watching today and who is participating with us live. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But especially to you, Monica, and to you, Tiffany, for being a part of uh, you define wellness now and providing an incredible service to our wellness professionals. And as we grow, I look forward to working with you more and more and having you at some of our events that we are planning right now and uh, there's there will be one coming up at the end of the year that our healers are going to love we're calling it speed healing and so it's going to be a great way for you to connect with another wellness professional and we're going to have people like tiffany and monica be there as our guests to also uh, be able to be visible with our folks so with that being said, thank you again, everyone, for being with us. Please reach out to these ladies. They're fabulous, and I know that they can absolutely help you with your business.